Hey guys, in this tutorial we're gonna be building accordion that looks like this. So we're gonna have four cards and then once we click on the second one, the first one is gonna close, that one is gonna open, we're gonna be switching the icons here and only one card is gonna be opened at a time, so we can have two cards open. So if we go back, I'm gonna be making this project on code sandbox and the first thing I wanna make is I wanna add a component that's gonna be called accordion. So first we want to have a div with the class name of accordion here. And then as you'll see here, we're going to have two parts. So we're going to have this type of heading at the top and then content at the bottom. So our first div is going to be accordion heading. And we want to add container inside of that. And then inside of this container, we're going to have the title on the left and we're going to have like some type of icon on the right. But in our case, it's just going to be text. So we're going to add a paragraph and a span here. So let's just do that for now. And then under the heading, and still in this accordion, we will make some space here. And we're gonna make one div that's gonna hold this text. So that's gonna be our content. Sorry, content, not context. And then here we're also going to have a container. It's going to be the. It's going to have same styles as this one uh, that we have right here. And inside of that, we want to have a paragraph with some lorem ipsum text that I'm going to add now. So you guys can add anything. And then at the end we want to export this component. And if we go back to our app, let's import our component we made. And here we want to render it four times. That's how many we're going to have. You can have more or less, doesn't matter. But we're going to have four in this example. And then if we go back to our styles now, let's remove everything and add some styling so we can actually see the cards. So this is the container that we have inside of heading and we also have it inside the content. Then let's get the accordion.
And then we're gonna need a few backgrounds. So let's copy the heading here. And then we also uh, can target the container here that's inside of heading. And then the other thing we have is content here. So I'm going to comment that out for now, just so you can see it. And that's going to be it. So we're only going to need to add some styles for the paragraph here at the end. And we're going to have height here and at zero and opacity at zero because we're gonna we're not going to be showing it at the beginning. And we also want to talk about the height because uh, we can't transition the display none if we did it that way. So that's why height and opacity, we want to set them to zero here. And then we're going to add some class that's actually going to toggle this and remove or add the height once we need it. So we can uh, put this back. So now this is the only thing that's showing the heading. And then we can go to uh, our component here and we want to make a, we want to make a prop here that's going to be title. So instead of displaying title one here, we're just going to put that prop we made. And then if we go to app, I'm going to add that prop we just made to all of them title and we're just going to give them some type of title that's similar but not the same so it's going to be title 1, title 2, title 3 and title 4 here and then we can import use state hook here So we're only going to have one state here that's going to keep track of the active one. And we're going to set it to title one. So how this is going to work, we're going to see to match our state, which is active, along with the prop that's title. And based on that, we're going to know which card is active and what to display. So we're going to need to send these states, so active, and then set active, we need to send that to all of our accordion components. So I'm going to target all of them. We need to send active, and we're going to do the same thing for set active here. Let's close this so you guys can see. And then we need to get those, so we need to get that state and the function that updates the state inside of our component. So we have active and set active. And then the first thing we're gonna do here 
Uh, we need a click event on span because this, our span is the icon that's gonna open the the menu here. But before we do that, I wanna show you how this works first. So we have an active state here. So if we go down to like uh, our content here, we wanna cut this from here for now. We wanna add curly braces, parentheses, and inside of that, we can check for our state, which is active. So we wanna check if our state that's active is equal to tidal, which is a prop we made. So in our case, active here is tidal1 as a string, and our title on this card is title one. So this card is gonna be active at the beginning. So if this is true here, we can add a class that's gonna be show. Else we don't wanna add anything. And then after parentheses here, we wanna add plus. Then do some space. And then we wanna add this thing we just, we had before. So just a class. And then here, let me see, on this pen, we want to add a click event. And we want to call the set active function. So our active state is title one at the beginning, but every time we click on something, we want to set it to the title, which is our prop. So that title we're clicking on. And then if we go to our style here, we can target that class we just made, which is show here. So let's target this first. So it's going to be that class and then dot show, which is going to be our second class. And then here, as you can see, we have height zero at the beginning and opacity zero. And here we want to add some height and opacity, put opacity back to one. So how this works, our active state, as I mentioned earlier, is title one. And if that is equal to title, we're adding a show class. And this title on the first card is the same as active state. So then once we add a show class, it just adds the height. So this is the card that's active at the beginning, the first one, because these two match. But if we change this to like title two, for example, now this card gets the active class or title 3, title 4, and then if you left this completely empty, none of them is going to get it. And then if we go back here, we also want to display the different icon depending on when we click. So for, we want to remove X here, and we want to check for the same thing that we have. So if active is equal to title here. And then if it is, we want to display the X icon. If it's not, I'm just going to display some lines. So now if we click on a card, it opens and it shows the X here. We click on this one, we click on this one. And also if you made it uh, empty here, instead of displaying any, it's still going to work the same way. You can still open and close the card. Or you can just mess with these and set it to any card you want. So for example, title three is going to be the third one. But yeah, that's going to be it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.